Setting up and treating SRS cases with AlignRT is easy and has reduced treatment time significantly. Importantly, studies have indicated faster treatment times with comparable outcomes to frame-based SRS solutions. In preparation of an SRS patient treatment, typically one of us sets up the treatment room while our partner retrieves the patient from the waiting room. Using SafeRTID makes it easy for us to work in tandem to prepare for the patient's treatment. While one of us uses a handheld device to identify and retrieve the patient via the saved face photo, the other is using a handheld device in the treatment room to set up and verify all the required common and custom accessories to be used for this specific patient. Two important accessories vital for successful setup and treatment of SRS patients are a custom open face mask that provides our patients with greater comfort and the Vision RT SRS head adjuster accessory. We use the head adjuster to correct for any initial rotations that cannot be corrected by physically moving the patient's head during setup. As we walk the patient into the treatment room, he or she stands in front of the Safe RT ID wall mounted camera to perform facial matrix recognition. This confirms the correct patient has been selected and matches the verified accessories. Once this has been done, the patient is guided to lay on the treatment couch. When treating SRS, it's critical to confirm the accuracy of a patient's setup and position during treatment, since they'll be receiving a high dose of radiation in one fraction. Using a line RT gives us the confidence we are treating the patient at the highest level of accuracy and efficiency. As the couch is moved to the vicinity of ISOCENTER, in real time, a line RT will register the live surface of the patient against the CT plan reference surface and show the patient position misalignment in all six degrees of freedom. We first correct gross rotational and translation errors by coaching the patient to move their head while we also move the couch. After this, we correct any minute rotations by turning the tactile knobs on the Vision RT SRS head adjuster. At the same time, translations are also fine-tuned by moving the couch. When all the real-time deltas are displayed green and as close to zero as possible, the patient initial alignment has been completed successfully. Before treating an SRS, we perform a CBCT to determine any small shifts that may be required. While performing imaging, the patient is continually monitored in a line RT to ensure they don't move during imaging or while the images are being reviewed. Once the shifts are approved, the couch is moved to the new position. Then whomever is running a line RT captures a session-only reference surface to use during the treatment for intrafraction motion management. The region of interest, along with any planned couch rotations, will automatically propagate to the new reference surface. Notice all of the deltas are now zeroed out since the new reference surface was acquired at the post-CBCT shift position. During treatment, one of us continues to monitor the patient using a line RT to detect unexpected patient motion. If the patient moves outside of a defined threshold tolerance, a line RT displays an alert by the affected threshold bar turning red, and the beam is held automatically. Sometimes couch rotations are included in the treatment. For these cases, a new reference surface is not needed for each rotation. We can easily rotate the reference surface position in a line RT to the correct position, rotate the couch, and continue treating.